So welcome to Fallout Shelter. Let's start a new vault for this channel. So I've played this a few times before. I haven't gotten that too far. Uh, too bad yesterday's recording didn't go so well. We had a power outage in my home. Because we were off to a really good start yesterday. Um. <clears throat> okay, so we got all these guys here. We have to see like which speciality, um, strength, Perception. Um, he is, uh, I forget right now, C's charisma, I's intelligence, A's agility, L is, um, I'm forgetting right now. But yeah, so that's what you want to look for, you know, what their strength is. And you want to have <coughs> dwellers in your vault that have uh, specific strengths. This guy, he is high on A, so he would be good in the kitchen. P, uh, he would be good in the water refinery. Okay, yeah, first you have to build the living quarters. Uh, I like this. <clears throat> you can just pause and read this, but uh, I've been through this a few times already, so. I, L is for luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. L is for luck. Um, okay, so we have that. We need power. Uh, I always like to keep that down here. And for power, you need dwellers that are high in S. Wasn't so, oh, yeah, he's a great candidate. those games you can tell was originally made for um, like mobile gaming and water treatment we need I like that on the other side there um, and then we need we do need a kitchen I keep saying kitchen but it's diner okay those are the basics. So we have a guy, uh, S. Let's see. A, he would be great in the kitchen. A for agility. Yeah, so this is just like one of those games I like to play, you know, just a little bit of here and there. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm looking for uh, S now. S. Well, actually, he would be great here. Alright, P, yeah. Um, and there should be two in each room when they're at their basic size. Sorry, I just... You can also look through it like this. 
So you look at the waiting. Um, anybody standing out? E for E. I guess this guy has the highest C and her. So Ralph Knight and Joan Green. This is Joan Green? Yeah. So let's put them. Uh, in the dwelling room. And Ralph Knight. So you'll see what happens. See that? Uh, that's one of the ways you increase your uh, right, your population. But she's not too low on the S. You can always move them around later. I mean. You can always move them around later. See if uh, who else would be highest on P would be Paul Morgan. Who is this guy? Paul Morgan. So he can go in the one refinery. And as you can see, the man and woman are starting to get to know each other. Uh, I'm just gonna put this, turn down the volume a bit. I don't know if it affects your. Yeah, see if the magic happens. Yeah, it does. Look. It's funny how the, the work in the diner never looks like work. <laughs> okay, so they're just getting to know each other for now. And then you can upgrade, like let's say, let's upgrade the power generator. And you can also merge rooms. Okay, so we need one more A. Jesse Campbell. One more agility character. And yeah, that's that's basically it. That's the start of the game. That's how you get going. Now these two will get to know each other and eventually, well, I won't spoil it for you, uh, but they're going to make babies anyway. And uh, uh, <laughs> after that happens, she comes out pregnant. That lasts a day. Uh, the next day, the baby's born. The day after that, the baby's old enough to work in your Involved. So yeah, this is uh, Fallout Shelter. I haven't really introduced the game yet. Um, it's one of those games you just play a little bit of every day. You get rewarded sort of for coming back on the daily. Um, I'm kind of concerned about the power. Look how low it is to the threshold. 23 seconds, yeah, I got that's, that's not too bad. And I haven't gotten too far in my, like, you know, I'm, I'm no expert. I mean, I'll show you how far I've got. Oh, here, wait, the build menu. So, yeah, I've gotten as far as getting to the radio studio. 20 dwellers. And that took, I don't know, 
three days, four days. It was within a week. And I just never really made a big thing out of this game. Like, I'm a huge Fallout fan, but I never, just for some reason, never got too deep into this game. But for my channel, I thought it would be nice to sort of have a game that you can sort of look at. You can play a little bit in the morning, have a short little recording, easy to edit, easy to upload. Uh, um, and which also, like, you know, promotes the things that I like, you know, for my channel. Uh, Bethesda games, especially Fallout. I'm a huge, huge fan of that. Uh, what do you guys think we should do now? What can we afford? When I recorded this yesterday before the power uh, outage, uh, uh, things were actually going a lot better. I would actually already gotten a few things and quite a bit more money. So it can really vary. It can really vary. Okay, see here. I'm starting to get it on. I mean... We don't need to look, look at that for ages, but something is going to happen soon. It is kind of a cute little thing. We can look at the goal list. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Here. Jeez. Okay, let's have a look. Where was it that I saw the progression? Here we go, the ribbon. Uh, so here we can see a little, like, they give you little objectives you can do that uh, pay you with the lunchbox, where you get a lot of cool stuff. And also uh, caps, which are like coins or currency. Send one to the wasteland. Yeah, I don't think we should do that yet. However, I think... Ah, see? <laughs> so I don't know if you saw the little happy emojis floating out of the bedroom, but that's kind of cute. So now she's pregnant and the baby will be born tomorrow. Uh, I think she'll just chill. I think we can expand the... I think he'll just chill as well. I don't know, the power thing looks like... Diane Wright. I suppose, Diane Wright. That was her or her? Her. Right, okay. But later she'll be more useful for the laboratory or whatever the other thing is. We see what we can afford now. So yeah, we can Oh yeah. Totally. We can expand that. Let's expand this. I guess they don't really merge before um, they're both at the same level. That's something I haven't realized before now. Oh, right. Okay, let's hope we can. Uh, I'm not sure we can afford that. Ah, uh, living quarters, 130. Okay, that's not going to take too long. 
And then if you're in dire need, you see something going down below the threshold, uh, you can rush it. Uh, and that will make it uh, instantaneously give you the power that you need. Uh, or, you know, food for the diner or water for the water refinery. But there's a chance for a fire or something going wrong. Now, the way I like to do it is I like to have, like, power and water here and then like uh, storage and laboratories and stuff here and I like to have living quarters and that kind of stuff here kitchens up here and then the overseer's office like further back the radio is somewhere down here I just kind of because every once in a while you get a raider attack and these areas are more crucial and it takes longer for them to get there bottom. Diane Wright. Here we go. Oh, oh, <laughs> I forgot it again. What was it? 200? 125? Yeah. Okay, we'll be there soon. But she can wait in the... She can wait in here, I think. No. Well... He's not the best for the job, but at least he can work. As for the ladies, I don't like to send the, I mean, I, I guess I can do anything really, but I don't like to send them out to do tough, hard labor. <laughs> I just, I guess, I'm, you know, I'm getting personally involved to that degree. Okay, I think maybe, just maybe, we'll just leave it there. Well, we're almost getting the lunchbox. Hold on, let's just get the lunchbox. That's what happened in yesterday's recording. I got the lunchbox, and it was a good one. <clears throat> it was uh, the best lunchbox uh, I've gotten so early in the game yet. You can see how happy they are and stuff. I mean, she's super happy, so I don't know about it. There you go. There you go. There you go. I really wish I had a lunchbox like that in real life. Okay, the giddy up buttercup. Junk. I still haven't gotten far enough to really know what to do with junk yet. I know you can use it to craft weapons, but I haven't done that yet. Caps, okay. Alright, see? And that will increase some of the stats, the strength, and the E, which is, I don't know, energy, I forget. It's not energy, it's, uh, oh, I forget. Water, okay. Ah! And here we got a special dweller. I've never had that before. Uh, too bad we didn't get a weapon. But this dweller looks great. Um, definitely needs to work in the kitchen, that's for sure. So what we can do... Where is that... Where's our special dweller? Okay, so let's send... Well, I could dress him. I'll show you that. Why not? Okay, so he's dressed. The stats are... See, those stats are a little higher. Uh, we'll send him out. We don't have much, but 
He doesn't even, even have a weapon, but... So we can call him back if he gets into trouble. Let's wait till he gets out. Yeah, then we got that. And now, let's put this person in the kitchen. A7. Okay, 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 we'll just build more dwell, okay. If I build it here, it's gonna become one big house, which I find sort of awkward, but... Okay. See, that takes more energy, as you see. Uh, here, but now he can work in the kitchen. And this... And now I can have two more dwellers in here. Uh, yeah, we should have one more. Wait. There's, we should have one more here. Someone high on S. Lewis Webster would be the best choice. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. We got another lun uh, uh, lunchbox. Okay, let's check out the lunchbox. Let's get this first. See what we get. Junk. Okay, these speed up time for the production of things. Ooh, Raider armor. P and A, that is not bad. I'm gonna equip someone in the water. Or in the kitchen. I think in the water refinery because no one there is suited up properly. So. Ooh, 500 caps, that's not bad. Wow! Bitter cup! Oh my god! Hot mama, look at that charisma. She is made for being a hot mama. Okay. Um. You're gonna have to live here. We'll find a nice man for you eventually. What kind of clothing do I get? P and A, right? So P that's here. Okay, who should I? Oh, he his his P is already pretty high. Um. But his isn't, so I might as well give him the raider armor, and then the A will also. There you go. Nice! Okay, no, it's becoming a fun first day. This is going well. I think I can even upgrade this so these will merge together. read much about this game online, but I read that this one is not even worth uh, uh, equipping anybody with. But it's better than nothing, so I will. But it's definitely not worth sending someone out on a raid for this gun. Right away, that's good to have. No, okay. Uh, I think this is good. Like, if I, you know, I played Fallout 4, and I know that duct tape is, like, super... Are valuable. Ooh, look at this guy. He's made for the water refinery for sure. Like a sheriff. I like that. That is cool. Okay. 
Okay, so a lot happened here. Um, who? BB gun. Let's equip someone up here with a BB gun because this is where the intruders come first. I often equip someone who looks like they're dressed to fight with BB guns because then it's easier to know who to set, uh, with guns in general, I mean, weapons, because then it's easy to know who to send to attack, but I'll just have to remember that the old guy has the BB gun. Uh, was there any other? Uh, in the workshop, yeah, I haven't gotten that far yet. The pets we don't have. I think we can upgrade this part two hundred fifty. See, now it's all one. Uh, the water refinery wasn't this guy. Yeah, I really want him in the water. Okay, so let's buy. And he's he already comes with the gun. Wow, it's the first time I've seen that. Yeah, here you can read what the letters stand for. Uh, I know those, though. Anyway. But I don't think we have enough rooms now. Because, yeah. Okay. But this room is full now? Forget how you check this. Three out of four. So, is there, there is room for one more to work there. Um, Either have to be Charlotte or Grace. And since I like bangs, I'm gonna go with Charlotte. I have nothing else to go on. <laughs> Charlotte. Here. For, uh, the water refinery. So we unlock the storage room. Is that super useful? I haven't found use for it yet. 300. You can pause to read this if you want. Um, what, what was I just thinking about? Oh, the storage room. Yeah, it's going to be a while before that's even necessary. But I do know we're going to need. Would an elevator fit? Yeah. I can build it up there. And then have a room there and a room there. I think. Right? Let's see, living quarters. Not yet. That might have been stupid. I don't know. It probably was. I've never done it like that before. It just 
feel like there should be living quarters up there. Oh. So how do we get... So what is this good for now? Oh, man. And I don't know if you can demolish anything. Oh, okay, you can. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Demolish it, and then we'll build a room here instead. And then we'll have elevators here instead. That makes more sense. Okay, made a little mistake. That's gonna be fine. Now we could build an elevator here. Uh and build upwards and downwards. I mean maybe I should upgrade diner. Two hundred and fifty to upgrade it. Because this is not looking good, how high the threshold is. What? How much did it cost? 250? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, we're close to it. So we can see how the guy out. Yeah, you just click outside. You can see what he's done so far. Um. If you want, you can pause and read. You see, you killed a bloat fly. Uh, you earned 255 XP. You found a savage dog. And then, whenever he finds money, that will be highlighted in red, I think. He suffered two da damage. Can anybody hear me? I mean, sure, come back. But it's going to take six minutes or I can use a nuke cola to come immediately. So he's on his way back now. And I think we'll call it a day there. We'll see what we do with uh, with the other dwellers eventually. Thanks for watching, Alon. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. You know the YouTube is. Uh, anything to help my channel would be highly appreciated. And I wish you guys a wonderful day. Bye.